हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द डायग्राम शोज पार्टिकल्स ए एंड बी ऑफ मासेस 0.2 पॉइंट टू के जी एंड एम के जी रिस्पेक्टिवली कनेक्टेड बाय लाइट इन एक्सटेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग विच पास ओवर अ फिक्सड स्मूथ पेथ सो इट्स गिवन टू अस इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट देर आर टू मासेस ए एंड बी विच आर मैंशन हियर दिस इज मास ए दिस इज मास बी द मास ऑफ इज जीरो पॉइंट टू के जी मास ऑफ बीस एम के जी एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय आइडियल स्ट्रिंग दिस इज एन आइडियल स्ट्रिंग आइडियल रोप and this rope is passing over a fixed smooth peg this is a fixed and smooth peg so this system can be considered as simple atwood machine now the system is released the system is released from rest with b at height of 0.25 meter above the floor so if you observe the diagram given here b is uh, above a floor which is at a height of 0.25 meter from the b so the distance of b from the ground is 0.25 meter this distance is known to us as b is descending downward it is taking it 0.5 second time to reach the floor b is moving in 0.5 second time in uh, downward direction to the floor all the resistances to the motion may be ignored now in the part 1 we need to find the acceleration of b as it descends acceleration of b is it descend this is very simple part because b is taking 0.5 second to cover the distance of 0.25 meter and starting from rest so its uh, motion equation can be written as by s is equal to half t square s is 0. Point, uh, s is 0.25 or 1 by 4 should equal to half acceleration of b into t square t is given as half so we may calculate this equation i am getting acceleration to be 2 meter per second square by this equation so acceleration of b is calculated as 2 meter per second square first part should have an answer of 2 meter per second square now for the part b find the tension in the string while b is descending and also find the value of m we need to find the tension in the string we now know that b is going down with some acceleration so a should move up with the same acceleration because this is an ideal rope between a and b b is going down then a should go up with the same acceleration acceleration of a should be 2 meter per second square in upward direction if i assume the tension in the string to be t so fbd of a will have an tension t upward direction and mg weight will be in downward direction so 0.2 into g weight will be acting in downward direction now i can write equation for motion of the block a which is t minus 0.2 i can write it here t is acting upward 0.2 g which is the weight of the block is going downward should equal to its mass which is 0.2 into acceleration which is calculated as 2 so tension is definitely going out to be i can solve this to get 0.2 into g plus 2 the value of g can be taken as 9.8 should be it should be 9.8 plus 2 so you can calculate this it it's going to be 2 by 10 into 9.8 plus 2 it will be 11.2 so you can multiply 11 point sorry 11.8 you can multiply 11.8 with 2 to get uh, 23.6 and by 10 will be 2.36 newton so value of the tension in the rope is 2.36 newton now this tension is also acting on the block b in upward direction and the weight of the block b is in downward direction it is going to be mg its acceleration is in downward direction so i can write equation for the block b equation for the block b s mg which is downward minus t is acting upward should be its mass into its acceleration acceleration is 2 meter per second square in downward direction so if i know the tension if i know the tension which is 2.36 newton i can calculate the mass of the block i can convert this equation as m into g minus 2 should be equal to tension or m should be equal to tension by g minus 2 i can put the value of tension as 2.36 newton by g is 9.8 minus 2 so 2.36 by 9.8 minus 2 will be 7.8 now if i divide 3 2.36 by 7.8 i will get the value of the tension value of the mass of the block b by solving i am getting it as 0.3 kg this should the mass of the block b now for the part c of the question it's written here when the b hits the floor it comes to rest immediately and the string becomes slack as the b is descending downward it is going to hit the floor 
as soon as b hits the floor it comes to rest and the string becomes slack find the length of the time for which b remains at rest on the ground before being jerked into motion again so as b is going down b is going down uh, it will strike the floor but when it strike the floor a has already attained some velocity and because of that velocity of the a which uh, which it had it it has attained in covering the distance of 0.25 meter in upward direction it should have covered some it should have attained some velocity because of that velocity it will go up a string is slacked it should go up and down with an acceleration of g which is in downward direction when it comes again to this position when it's come again to this position till that time b is going to be at rest on the floor and after that time because of the velocity of a b will be jerked into motion again so we need to calculate the time for a to move up and down from this position for that first calculate us first calculate the velocity of a at this position velocity of it a at this position can easily be calculated because uh, at this position the velocity of a and velocity of b will be equal as b going down with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square and time is 0.5 second so its velocity should be at or 2 into half or 1 meter per second square 1 meter per second so at this position velocity of a should be 1 meter per second as same as the velocity of b now a should go up and down with, with this velocity so the time of flight for a the time of flight for a for going up and down should be 2u by g u is 1 and g is 9.8 so this is the time 2 by 9.8 this is going to be the time for which b is going to be ideal on the surface thank you